Hi everyone, it's Mike and Becca from My Travel BF. We are in Segovia. Um, we took a little day trip from Madrid. It's one of the most popular day trips from Madrid, so we're going to check out what Segovia has to offer. Follow us along. A Roman aqueduct, a cathedral, and a castle that helped inspire the Walt Disney Castle. There's so much to do and see in Segovia, plus it's all a simple day trip away from Madrid. Make sure to stay to the end of the video to see the top three sites you need to see in Segovia, as well as two foods Segovia is best known for, including a dessert. Without a doubt, the most striking symbol of Segovia is the aqueduct, which immediately caught our eye and is something you could truly marvel at for a long time. But we're gonna come back to this because we headed straight through the old town in order to get to the Alcatraz in time for our visit. The Alcatraz of Segovia was first mentioned around 1152, but like all things in Spain, there is even more history behind it. It dates all the way back to the 7th century when the Romans first built there. Later on, the Moors built on top of that when they controlled much of the Iberian Peninsula. We truly love learning all these different layers of history and it's something so common throughout Spain and it's one of the things that makes this country so fascinating to live in. But while there's so much history here, the one thing the Alcazar is perhaps most famous for is serving as an inspiration for the Walt Disney Castle. The tour of the Alcazar de Segovia is relatively short and self-guided, but it only costs 6 euros. We recommend booking online ahead of time beforehand, especially if you're going during high tourist seasons. We put the link in the description below so you can book your tour of the Alcazar ahead of time. If you're going to come to Segovia and come to the Alcazar, it's definitely worth it to pay the 3 euros to go up the tower. Take a look at this view. You honestly can't beat the view from the tower. With the old town of Segovia in the foreground, the giant cathedral rising up from the center of the city with its massive tower that overlooks Segovia, and the snow-capped Guadarrama Mountains in the background. It's an incredible view that you need to check out when you're in Segovia. After touring the Alcazar, we decided to go in search of some better views of this amazing castle. So we headed down some steep stairs that go along the edge of the cliff near the Elcarthod, down across the river to the Mirador de la Pradera de San Marcos. So we're here down at the park underneath the Alcatraz. We have this beautiful view down here. We definitely recommend coming down here just to check it out. It's nice and peaceful, a lot of green space. There's a river over there. We haven't headed back up the steps yet, which were pretty steep. So when we get back up, we'll let you know if it's actually worth it because that climb up looks terrible. But the views from down here are incredible. So when you're in Segovia, make sure to come down here and check it out if you have time. Before continuing with our Segovia tour, if you like this video and others about what it's like living abroad in Spain as well as our travels, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out and helps us grow the channel and you'll get notified the second we release a new video.
After touring the El Cathod, climbing the tower, walking down to the park for the view of the El Cathod, and then heading all the way back up the stairs, we were super hungry. And if there's one food that Segovia is known for, it's cochinillo, or suckling pig. While it's typically not something we'd choose to order, we decided to give it a go because why not? We're in Segovia. Oh my god, that's really good. Yeah. Hola. The outside is like crispy and the inside just like melts. While I thought the cochinillo was delicious, Becca thought it was just so-so. However, it was really difficult to get past the small pig's leg and hoof on the plate. But if you're in Segovia and want something traditional, it's definitely something you should try. After staring at the massive aqueduct throughout all of lunch, we decided to dive deeper into its history. While the exact date of when the Roman aqueduct of Segovia was constructed is unknown, it's said to have been constructed somewhere between 81 and 117 AD. What's crazy is that the aqueduct is 9.3 miles long and up to 93 feet tall. There are areas with both single arches and double arches. The double arch section is definitely the most famous as it's right in the middle of the city and something you cannot miss when you're in Segovia. Whether you care about the exact history of the aqueduct or not, this is truly one of the most remarkable and impressive things to see in all of Spain. The last of the three big sites to see in Segovia is the cathedral, which sits right in the Plaza Mayor between the aqueduct and the El Cathar. It was built between 1525 and 1577 in a Gothic style. You can visit the Segovia Cathedral for only 3 euros, and if you have time you can also do an hour long tour of the tower which is the highest point in all of Segovia. Unfortunately we just missed the last tour of the day, so it looks like we're going to have to head back to Segovia. We should note the tour is all in Spanish, so even if your Spanish isn't up to par or you won't understand any of it, it might still be worth doing for the views alone. After wandering the majestic and historic streets of Segovia some more, we wanted to try a typical Segovia dessert before heading back to Madrid. The most famous is the Ponche Segoviano, which we got at the highly recommended Limón y Menta. It's a cake-like dessert that's filled with a cream and covered in a thin layer of marzipan. Really good. Mm. How's it taste like? Mm. I don't know. It's like a little lemony. Um, sweet. Okay. The texture's a little different, but it's good. I see what you mean. It's like do very doughy. Um, what do you think? <laughs> it's good. The powdered sugar got me in the back, mm. in the throat. Like I inhaled it. It's really good though. Mm. It's like a mixture of lemon and dough and like cream. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's super good. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. It's definitely a must get in Segovia, especially if you have a sweet tooth. And it was perfect because Limoni Menta had individual sized ones for sale. So we didn't have to buy a complete one to eat ourselves.
Thanks for following us along in Segovia. Make sure to check out our other videos of what it's like living in Spain as American and our travels around Spain. We'll see you over there. Bye.